So here in this video, we are going to check with your Linux pipes and filters, which will be much useful when you'll be using a shell scripting programming or when you'll be configuring your own scripts and creating your own programs. So these pipes and filters are very important for you. So let us talk about what are pipes. Pipes are generally used for connecting two different commands or we can connect two different commands by taking the output of your first command and moving it into the second command. So basically what it does. Now for example, I have a command where I want the output. Now for example, I have provided 2 plus 2. I want the output as a 4. This 4 I want to add with this some other particular number like plus 3. So the output of the first command should be taken to the second command. So for that, for merging for those of the files, we will be using a pipe command. So you can see I have mentioned over here. Pipe is a form of redirection that is transfer of a standard output provided by first command to the other destination or other particular command. Same way that is again used by your Linux shell scripting which we have already discussed and also these commands can be used into any of the processes or any of the process performed by any of your services which we have created to any other particular service. Now for example, you have installed a particular software into your Linux operating system and for running a file, first this particular software should be enabled and installed into the machine. If it is enabled or installed, then only you'll be able to open that file which has the format of this particular application. So this is again a pipe. So means we are going to standardize or sort this particular content in such a way that the very first dependent task is performed first, then the output is given to the second command so that it can perform ahead. That is your pipe. Now again I'm talking about the filters. Now pipe combines the multiple output of your commands, right? Or provide one out output of the command to the other particular process or any other data. But filters, filters works completely in different way. Filters, what it will do? If you have a huge file, it can filter out the data which generally you require. So what the data is required will be again filtered by using the commands of the filter. So you have many tools for filtering your particular data or a particular file content. You have the commands such as your awk command, seek command, spell command and your wc commands. Now we have already used a wc command. You might have seen about it, you might have understood it. Whenever we have a file of a huge letters and words in, in built into it or we have assigned into it, but it can count the number of letters. It can count the number of words where we have encountered it manually. So automatically what it does, it provides you a filtered content what you require. We can also search for a content that again will be provided into the filter commands. So let us see some of the filter commands which we use basically into your shell scripting. The commands are sort. Now for example, if I want to sort multiple data, multiple lines or multiple columns, I can use the sort command. Same way for filtering, we can also use the pg commands. So see how this particular pg and sort commands can be used into our Linux operating system using different parameters. So let us begin with our terminal. So here I have two different files uh, contain fruits names as well as one contain the numbers. Now let us check what exactly we do have into this file. Now if I am moving into the fruit, I have some list of the fruit names. Same way uh, if I am using and looking at your numbers, I have some numbers. So let us see how we can use our sort tools for it. Now starting with your fruit names. So as we know, we have a multiple fruits over here and they are not aligned in any of your ascending or descending orders and I want you know to align it uh, to align it properly so while we are aligning it so we will be using the command called as sort so it will align it properly but you can see there is again um, a particular fruit name that is actually is again repeated and uh, the small case is you know having the first priority and the second list is your capital A. Now if I want to reverse, reverse the same, I want that the, you know capital should have the uh, first in the list or it should appear first in the list. I'll give the command hyphen F and then the same root name or the 
file name. So you can see all the particular, uh, you know, uh, those particular uh, fruits like your apple and mango. So they are having now, in the reverse order, the capital is, you know, in first in the list and in the smaller space is in second list. And same way, uh, we can also sort your numbers. But if I'm using this sort numbers from, so it won't sort it well because uh, while you are using the sort number, you need to define we are going to sort the numbers here. So according to numbers, I'm going to sort now and you can see it is in sorting orders, right? So lowest to the highest number. Same way if I want to make it reverse, I can also use hyphen R numbers. And see, it is in print order. Same way, I can also use hyphen R for my command, like your sort hyphen N R and then the numbers. So it is completely numbers because last time I haven't defined N, so it doesn't recognize this is a number or not. Same way, I can also sort my fruit name in reverse order. By giving an R. So it is in reverse order. So these are the sort commands generally which we have. So this is how generally we use the sort commands. Now if talking about the pipes, generally most of the times it happens like you know we are using different parameters. Like in sort we have used N, X, F. These are the parameters which we are processing our value into it. Same we have seen like into the LS. We are processing some parameters. We are processing this value into this value so that it gets me the details of the current value. Same here, uh, we can use many of the commands for, you know, uh, where we use the pipes over here and, you know, filters to get access to the uh, any particular data. So here we have the filtered value, like we have, uh, you know, uh, changed the sequence of the numbers. We have changed the sequence of your complete orders of the, you know, numbers as well as your fruit names. So this is how generally we use pipes and filters into your Linux operating systems. In the next video, I'm coming up with more of the commands, so keep watching.